now in this video we will study about the rounding of the numbers this concept also we already studied in class 4th first concept is rounding off to nearest and how we round off the number to nearest to round off the number let us understand this with the help of an examples we have given 19601 19605 and 19607 all the three numbers comes between 19600 and 19610 now 19601 to rounding of nearest 10 but we have to check we already know we have to check the tens place digit here the tens place digit is 1 so it will round off to the lower limit so 19601 will round off to 19600 here the ones place digit is 5 so it will be rounded off to the upper limit so 19605 will be rounded off to 19610 and here also the ones place digit is 7 so it will also round off to the uh, upper limit that is 19610 so when we have to uh, round off to the lower limit if the ones place digit is either 0 1 2 3 and 4 and to the upper limit if the ones place digit is 5 6 7 8 and 9 now let us move to rounding off to 100 for rounding off to 100, what I have to check is, I have to check the tens place digit. Like in this, the tens place digit is 3. Firstly, I have to check what is the limit. So, it uh, this number is com coming between 68,900 and 69,000. So, the tens place digit is 3. So, it will be rounded off to the lower limit. And the lower limit is 68,900. So, 68,930 rounded off to nearest 100 is 68,900. So, when we have to round off to the lower limit, the tens place digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And to the upper limit, then the tens place digit is either 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. Now, rounding off to 1000. To rounding off to 1000, we have to check the hundreds place digit. So, firstly, I have to check the limits. So, 14,372 rounding off to nearest 1000 will come between 14,000 and 15,000. Now, I have to check the hundreds place digit that is 3 and 3 it means it will round off to the lower limit and the lower limit here is 14,000. So, 14,372 will round off to 14,000. In the th uh, rounding off to 1000, we have to round off to the lower limit if the 100 place digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and to the upper limit if the 100 place digit is 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now, let us move to the exercise 1.5. Let us look at the first question. Round off the following number to nearest 10. First part I have given is 5314. 5314 it is coming between 5310 and 5320 because we have rounding off to nearest 10 the ones place digit is 4 so it will round off to the lower limit that is 5310 now let us look at the second question we have to round off the following number to the nearest 100 the given number is 83089 so it will come under 83000 and 83100 now i have to check for the nearest 100 is the tens place digit the tens place digit is 8 so it will round off to the upper limit so 83089 will be round off to nearest 100 is 83100 now let us move to the question number 3 round off the following number to the nearest 1000 we have given the number is 5,12,642. For the nearest 1000, it comes between 5,12,000 and 5,13,000. For the nearest 1000, I have to check the hundreds place digit. The hundreds place digit is 6. So, it will round off to the upper limit that is 5,13,000. Now, let us move to the next concept that is Roman numbers. Here, uh, in the earlier times, we use Roman numbers instead of are these uh, general numbers that we are studying today. 
so in roman in roman language we write 1 as i and we write 5 as v we write 10 as x we write 50 as l we write 100 as c and we write 500 as g and 1000 as m here are the few rules how we write the roman numbers uh, we in the roman numbers we have two types of number one number is repeated number and the another number is known repeated numbers repeated numbers are 1 10 100 and 1000 and the known repeated numbers are 5 50 and 500 the numbers starting with 1 are the repeated numbers and the numbers starting with 5 are the known repeated numbers but there is one rule that we can repeat these number not more than three times we can repeat the numbers till three times only not more than that and the next rule i have tell you is value of repeated numbers get added jo number repeated numbers uh, value add hote jate hain saath saath for example we have one i it means one we have two i's it means one plus one is equal to two we have three i's it means one plus one plus one is equal to three we have one ten it means ten we have two tens it means ten plus ten is equal to twenty and we have two c's it means c means hundred then hundred plus hundred is equal to two hundred now let us look at the third rule that is number first thing is the smaller number if a smaller number is on the right side of a greater number a greater number for example five and 1 is on the right side of 5. So what, do, what does that mean? It means that 1 is adding to 5. Right side means we have to add the smaller number to the larger number. If a number is on the left hand side, I have to do is subtraction. Like let us look at the examples that it is given 6, 5 and 1. It means 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Now let us, the next is 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Then it becomes 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 8. Now let us look at this. We have given 50. We have 10 after the 50. Smaller number after the greatest number. So we will add 10 and then 10 and then 10. Then we will add 5 and then we will add 1. So it becomes 86. Now, uh, this I already told you, if the smaller number is on the left side of a greatest number, then I have to do the subtraction. Now, let us look at the examples. We have 1, which is smaller than 5, on the left side of 5. So, what I will do is, I have to subtract 1 from 5. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Now, let us move to the next. We have 10, smaller than 50, before 10. So, what I have to do is 50 minus 10, that is 40. This is 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. And this is 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. Now, let us start the exercise 1.6. In this, I have to convert the Roman numbers. We have given 197. I have to write 197 as 100 plus 90 plus 7. 100 will be written as C. How I will write 90? If we subtract 10 from the 100, it will become 90. So, I will write x before c. So, it becomes 90. How I will write 7? We will write 7 as v, which is 5, plus 1, plus 1. So, 7 will be written as v, i, i. So, the number becomes c, x, c, v, 1, 1. So, 179 will be written like this. Now, now the second part is 439. How I will write 439? 400 plus 30 plus 9. 400 will be written as 500 minus 100. So the 500 is D. If we subtract 100 from the four, uh, 500, it will become 400. Now I have to write 30. I will write 30 as 3x's. And I have to write 9. Then I have to write 10 minus 1. So the 439 becomes C, D, X, 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 I, X. Now let us move to the third part that is 355. 300 will be uh, written as, 355 will be written as 300 plus 50 plus 5. 
थ्री हंड्रेड विल बी रिटर्न एज थ्री सीज फिफ्टी एज एल एंड फाइव एज बी सो थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव विल बिकम सी 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 एल वी नाउ मूव टू द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन कन्वर्ट टू हिंदू अरेबिक न्यूमर्स वी हैव गिवन सी डी एल हेयर इट इज अ वन नंबर एंड इट इज द सेकेंड वी हैव डी एंड सी बिफोर दैट सो इट मीन्स फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस हंड्रेड दैट इज फोर हंड्रेड now next is l which means 50 so it becomes 400 plus 50 that is 450 similarly in the second part i have given cd cd which is 500 minus 100 that is 400 l as 50 x as 10 and i as 1 so it becomes 400 plus 50 plus 10 plus 1 that is 461 Now move to the third part. We have given two C's. It means hundred plus hundred, two hundred. L as fifty, X as ten, V as five, I as one, and I as one. So it will become two hundred and sixty-seven. Now this is here. We complete the first chapter of class five of mathematics. I will share notes and the exercises. and the worksheet along uh, in a pdf with you along with the video students will have to prepare a notebook of mathematics in which they have to do all the questions of all the exercise and worksheet and practice them at their homes